I only wear lashes on very special occasions and today is that day. It's cheat meal day today, you guys. As usual, the Chick-fil-A line is off the hook. Hopefully it goes by really fast though. The funny thing is this Chick-fil-A is right next to a 24 hour fitness. They be playing people. Let me just show you guys what I'm working with. So I got here around one o'clock and I'm still in this fat line, look. So there's two lines going on right now. It wraps around the parking lot. All the way over there. Okay, line's moving. Hi, can I get an original chicken sandwich meal? Sure, and to drink? Um, can I get a high C? Okay. Can I make that a large? A large high C? Mm -hmm. Medium fries or large fries? Large. Large fries as well, okay. A spicy chicken sandwich, eight count of the nuggets. Sure. One of every sauce. Yeah, of course. The girl at the drive through line said she liked my lashes. Queen Bee by Coco, go and cop them. All right. Sorry if there's a lot of background noise. I'm literally in their parking lot. So this is my ghetto mukbang car tray here. My soda here, a large high C. Their fries, their nuggets. I'm shaking, I'm so excited, like I'm so hungry. Now, I've actually haven't tried all their sauces before. My go-tos are really their Chick-fil-A sauce and the Polynesian sauce. Where are you? This one. We'll try everything out. I wish my food was closer up like this. Okay, you guys, so my husband came in clutch. So he has some pillows in the back seat. This is because when we get in arguments and he gets in trouble, I make him sleep in the car. Just kidding, I would never, ever, ever do that. Mom, if you're watching, I'm just kidding. Now y'all can see everything. I'm a professional, you guys. Professional mukbanger, mukbanger. Okay. Okay, you guys, here is the spread. Doesn't it look gorgeous? <sighs> okay, I wanna try the zesty sauce. Zesty buffalo. Oh, The fries aren't as crunchy as I wanted them to be. Ranch? What is this one? I already forgot. I think that's sweet and sour. It's just okay. Let's try the barbecue. Tastes like any old barbecue. Let's do the Chick-fil-A. the one their honey mustard is very mustardy <laughs> if that makes sense mm. I love their Polynesian For me, it's still between the Chick-fil-A sauce and the Polynesian. Let's try this one. Mm. I'm a really slow eater, but I'm gonna try to eat fast for you guys because I don't want this video to be hella long. <clears throat> Sorry, you guys. My camera keeps going in and out. I think it's because it's so hot. It's like overheating my camera. I'm not very open about it, but <clears throat> But yeah, I remember my very first anxiety attack. Like, I can remember it like it was just yesterday. 
I was in nursing school and I was in my mental health rotation, ironically enough. <laughs> and I was studying for a really big exam. And back then I used to, I used to isolate myself a lot. Like school was everything to me. I literally had no life. I had no social life. Whenever we had like family parties or like gatherings, I would just, I wouldn't even join because I would literally be studying all day, all night. But I would always go to Starbucks to study because for me it was a way to get away from home and like a lot of distractions. And I remember I was at a Starbucks. I remember even like exactly which Starbucks I was at, exactly what table I was sitting at. And I was so stressed. So stressed that I wasn't going to do well on this exam. And I remember literally just like something taking over my body. It was like the weirdest experience. Like all of a sudden my chest just started getting tight. The muscles in my neck, I could just feel like, it felt like someone was choking me. I had such a hard time breathing. I was getting super lightheaded. I felt like I couldn't think. And that was the first time I realized like I'm having a panic attack. Ever since that day, I would have anxiety attacks every single day. They would be so bad. I'm thankful now because more and more people are opening up and talking about, you know, sensitive matters like anxiety and depression. Um, but that wasn't always the case. And even now, sometimes I feel like there is still kind of a stigma around it. Like somehow if you tell people that you are, that you have anxiety, that you're, I don't know, less of a competent person, like you have no control, but that's what anxiety feels like. like. When I'm having an anxiety attack, I feel like I've lost control over everything. I can't even remember how long it took me to um, seek medical advice for it. Like, I let it go on for so long. I just thought it was something that I can manage on my own. I ended up seeing my primary care provider. And because I was having it so often, like every day, she recommended that I went on medications for it so I was on medications for a long time like eight years and I hated it I wanted so badly to be off the medications that sometimes I would just stop it just trying to see if my anxiety would be better and even with the medications my anxiety wasn't completely controlled like there were times where I would still have anxiety attacks, but they weren't as extreme. And I was so stupid, like I would just stop it abruptly. With those kinds of medications, you're not supposed to do it. Like you're supposed to taper off those medications slowly until you can eventually completely wean off of it. But yeah, it's definitely been a struggle throughout the years. Sometimes I'm just in anxious for no reason. And only people who have anxiety can relate like why are you anxious I don't know and then not knowing makes me feel more anxious it's like a vicious cycle I know for many of you like hearing this about me is gonna be a big shock to you because I'm generally a happy-go-lucky person like super carefree always happy always smiling and it's not fake it's not like I'm putting on this front you know I am a happy person it's just that when I have a panic attack I don't know it's like I'm a different person I feel bad for the people who have to deal with me when I like go through these things because it's not a fun experience I get super irritable like I don't want to talk to anyone it's a very debilitating experience when you're having an attack I know a lot of people put off seeking medical attention and I did I was one of those people because I felt like seeing someone for this was admitting that I had a problem <laughs> I don't think I would have been able to to handle it had I not like speaking with someone having them help and teach me different techniques to take my mind away from the anxiety is help like simple things like breathing techniques and it kind of brings you back to reality because sometimes it feels like you're gonna die <laughs> <laughs> Ew, sorry. Honestly, there are times where I felt like I was going to die. Like I was having a heart attack or something. 
I'm really happy to say that I'm no longer on medication. Like, I still have those moments, don't get me wrong. <laughs> Especially now, with everything that's going on. I swear I'm feeling better. <laughs> I didn't actually think I was gonna finish this, but holy crap. <laughs> I'm gonna show my fries. You can do this, Melissa. I can't breathe. That was amazing. I'm sorry that wasn't usually my happy-go-lucky self. But yeah, that's just how I've been feeling lately and I felt like I really needed to get it off my chest and so. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Just picked up my family's order. What's up, y'all? Round two? Just kidding. I'm so effing full.